Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to play Sega Master System and Genesis Mega Drive games on your classic system. The first step you're going to want to do is make sure that your classic system is hacked using the newest version of HackGCE. I will leave the how-to video in my description for you. Once you have your system hacked, you're going to open up your HackG program. You're going to go to the Modules tab. Go to the HackG Mod Store. In the Mod Store, the first tab you're going to go to is Retrowork. You're going to download the newest version of Retrowork Neo, which is 1.7.3b. You're going to hit the Download Module button right here. Next, you're going to go to the Retrowork Cores tab. There's two cores you can use for your games. The first one is Genesis Plus GX, and the other is called Pico Drive. It's up to you which core you want to use. They both work really well. So for Genesis Plus GX, you would just hit the download module button again right here. Or if you would prefer Pico Drive, you would select that one in the mod store. Once you're done, hit the X button to close out the mod store. You're going to go back into your modules tab and click install extra modules. If you haven't already installed Retroarch Neo, the newest version, you're going to put a check mark next to that. And then also Genesis Plus GX or Pico Drive. You're going to hit the OK button and it's going to install these modules to your classic system. Now we have to add our games to our HackG program. To do that, you click the Add More Games button down here. You're going to navigate to the folder where you have your ROMs. For the Genesis, I'm going to take a look at Vector Man. It's a very underrated game. Then you just click the Open button and it will add it to your system. And we'll take a look at Wonder Boy 3 for the Master System. They will be at the top of your list. We're going to want some box art, so you're going to click this Google button over here. There we go for Vector Man, and how about Wonder Boy? Looks good. Looks like everything is installed okay. We have our box art. Last step is to hit this Synchronize button, and this will transfer these games from your PC to your classic system. So let's head over there and take a look at these Sega games. All right, so let's take a look at Wonder Boy 3 first. All right, there's our Sega logo. So I've actually never played this version of Monster World before. I played an arcade one. But never the, I've actually never played a Master System game. I didn't know the Master System existed. So this is kind of cool. It does not work like Castlevania. I'm getting nothing from these candles. Oh, that snake got one on us. Not that, oh, that one got one on us too. Wow, the Master System has some slick enemies. Now what? Oh, blue, boss, boss snake? Oh, I guess not. Oh, and headless skeletons. Okay, I don't hear any sound glitching. The graphics look nice. I don't see any graphical glitches. These uh, Cyclops look okay. Um, wow, you can take a lot of hits before you lose life. Look at our hearts up there. That's barely anything. Can we go in this door? Oh, here we go. Finally a door we can go in. Are we fighting a robot Mechagodzilla thing? What a battle that was, okay. Oh, a little fire thing. Whoa, coin fountain. Jeez, this game, oh, the fire got, oh. And now we're a dragon? On to Vector Man, a game that I do know. The first time I played this was actually in one of those store displays in Target. It's just about a dude where you walk and shoot. Sometimes there's TVs. Make sure you blow up those TVs. There's good stuff in them. But this Genesis sound, man, you can't beat the Genesis sound. Some people say that, you know, Super Nintendo sound chip is better. I agree for the most part. But there's some games on the Genesis where this this sound chip is really good. The bass and the thumping. I always thought this was cool in this game where you can slow, you know, your descent by shooting down. Oh, I'm on a hidden platform. Yeah, in my opinion, Sonic has nothing on this game. And that's it. There you go. Sega Master System and Genesis or Mega Drive games on your classic system. Make sure you keep stopping by. I have a lot more things to show you on what you can do with your system. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time guys if you want to contact me outside of youtube feel free to use any of these social media platforms also while you're here why don't you check out some of the other videos that i put out and if you feel like it subscribe to the channel